Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe this channel. In last two video, I have explained you how you can create navigation in Jetpack Compose. In last video, I specially explained how you can pass parameter also in navigation activities. So I explain a permanent parameter and an optional parameter also. So in this uh, uh, video, we are going to learn about nested navigation concept and how we can implement it. So first of all, see this diagram. And remember that uh, if uh, if uh, uh, I do like this, screen one, screen two, and screen three, four, five, six, and thousand of screen I add here. So it is not easy to debug and it is not also easy to manage this kind of thing and we also forget that how we uh, how and where we just uh, your uh, created the these activities but it's very easy to manage if we do some modelization it is very easy if we make it modular and with the help of modules we just uh, you can say classify the navigation and that concept is called nested navigation in Jetpack Compose. See this diagram. In the previous diagram, what we have, we have activity, nav controller, nav host, and we have directly screens. And it is very, uh, uh, very good also, no problem at all. But uh, as we uh, grow application and number of screen uh, also increase, so it's not easy to manage. So if we want to manage it, so we can do what? We can create two screen here and other two screens we can group under one module remember that i can say this is login this is registration so under the login we have two <coughs> activity or two fragments under the registration we also have two screen and two fragments so if i write here login if i write here registration so it's very easy to understand and manage also so uh, uh, I'm explaining in uh, this video how you can manage and how you can create in modules and you can manage easily. So uh, here you see we have a two screen as I created in the last video also. And in this video I will have the navigation. Remember that under the nav host we will use a navigation compose function, composable function. So under this navigation we can also create some screen like we did in nav host under the nav host we create a screen 1 and screen 2 similarly under the navigation we can create a screen 1 a screen 2 a screen 3 a screen 4 and we can create more navigation also in this in this uh, diagram i have explained only single navigation but you can create more navigation also so uh, so one navigation means one module and if you have more module in your application you can create two three four five so many navigations you may have just depend on the number of activity you want to modulize in your application so uh, i told you that in each and every uh, screen is a composable function and each and every composable function have a name is called route so with the help of route we go similarly we here also this screen is composable function and we have a route here also we have a route remember that this navigation is also link with a route but this route is virtual virtual means we just give the name but we do not have any composable function for this this route we do not have any screen for this it is a virtual one so with the help of route means whenever i will call this route automatically from this activity to here we can go so suppose from the screen one if i called this route for navigation one so i called here from this i called here from here i click and I go to this navigation from this also I can go to this navigation so with the help of this route I will jump from screen 1 to this screen screen 2 to this screen so I will go with the help of this route so still I need a route but that route would be virtual one we do not have a screen with that so I think you understand it now we will make it so here we have the last program just click here and we pass the parameter now after clicking on this first screen i want to go to the next navigation module similarly like this i want to i want to go to the nested screen one and then from nested screen one to nested screen two i want to go with the help of this so i want to achieve this modelization 
so what i do uh, first of all i need uh, need routes also and i i have to change this also so second screen i'm going to the first screen here so i say here nested screen so i will go to nested screen remember that and from here in place of first screen i have to call the navigation router remember that i have to call this navigation virtual route so this virtual route i will call from here so how i will do just first of all go to screen and create a route here i create one more route i say object and i say uh, nav nav route navigation route okay it, it is it is virtual route so i say here that it is a uh, navy i can say module module one okay i can give any name and i can uh, give navigation also any name whatever you want i say uh, navigation i can say module one module two it's a virtual one so one more i create for nested screen so i here i say nested screen one nested screen one and here i pass nested one remember and similarly i create one more for nested screen two and here i say nested screen two and here i give the name nested two so you can give any name but i am just to uh, remember you how you do i am doing this like that so now i have to create a screen also so uh, i say a new then i say uh, file and here i say uh, nested nested screen one like this dot kt and this is my first screen so first screen i called it nested screen one similarly i create nested screen two file nested screen two dot kt just simply copy this function composable function and i paste here similarly i just change it to nested screen one and from this nested screen i want to go to uh, uh, your uh, this is say nested screen nested screen one and from this nested screen one i go to uh, nested screen two okay and in place of this uh, parameter because i am not going to pass parameter here now so what i do uh, i say uh, screen dot uh, nested screen two dot route because from the first screen i want to go to the nested screen two so i just copy this one and same in nested two i paste here and i change to nested screen 2 like this and from nested screen 2 to i want to go to the screen first so i say uh, screen 1 dot route okay from the last screen i go to first screen and here i say uh, uh, first screen remember and i display here nested screen 2 like this so one thing i did screen i created the route i created the screen also now i have to add those screen here so for that i told you that this navigation controller we have here this screen so here after this i have to create a function so navigation i create here this function and composable function here i pass first parameter as in nav controller 
and second parameter I want to pass route equal to so here I want to pass a start destination first a start destination that is start destination would be uh, the first screen that would be the screen dot nested screen one dot route this one and here I want to come from the screen dot uh, we can say nested uh, nested uh, navigation route dot route remember that this is a virtual one so with the help of this this virtual route this is the virtual route so from this uh, this uh, virtual route here so if anyone call this virtual route so this virtual route we will call from the second screen so from the second screen uh, from the second screen we go to second screen and here from here I want to go to the navigation screen so I say navigation route dot route from this screen I want to go to the navigation so here is the route start destination is this similarly I need this compose function here so I just copy it and paste it two time and in the first route I have to call uh, nested screen uh, one uh, nested screen one similarly here also nested screen one because from the first screen we want to go and here we want a nested screen two like that and here I want to call the uh, function nested screen one function like this like this and then I want to call nested screen two function nested screen two function like this the so same I did here also as I did here in nav so under this we are created a nested navigation like a module and from this this route we will reach to this navigation and at the first one we will display this route so I think we did it and now I try to execute one more one more time you see I click on second screen so I go to this and here I click on nested screen I go to nested screen one you see then nested screen two and from the nested screen two I go to the first screen so it's running perfectly no problem at all so you see it's a very simple but uh, one more thing we can do also this navigation is looking so odd because uh, it's not easy to manage if we have so many uh, navigation nested navigation so we can create one more separate class under that separate class we can put it also so I just create one more file and uh, uh, here and I say that this is uh, uh, navi navigation uh, one I can say navigation one or ye, or otherwise I can say uh, nested navigation one dot kt okay and here uh, what I do uh, I doesn't need to create a class it is it is a file and here I just create a function I say fun and that function uh, would be the nav nav graph builder dot and here I want to create a function so I say uh, I say add navigation one like this and remember that we have to pass here uh, navigation also so I say nav controller like this we have to pass and one more thing I have to do I just cut this code the complete code I cut from here and I paste this code uh, uh, here and uh, nested navigation one like this so all the code I put I just paste here all the code no change here navigation controller I pass now I have to call this function only add navigation one here so I say add navigation one and pass here nav controller and I pass here a uh, nav controller like this remember so with the help of this single line I merge this 
navigation this nested navigation here remember that so just by one line of function i just add one nested navigation similarly you can create one more module also one more nested navigation and you can add that navigation also create a file put this and add here so like this we can manage very easily our application and if we have error so we easily find that this error is belong to this particular module just create here nested screen then first one then first one you see so everything is working fine without any problem just we we just make it uh, more refined and more clear code so this you can do also so i think you have learned so many things from this video if you really learn anything from this video please like share and subscribe this channel thank you for watching this video Thank you.